What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, back at it with another durability test for Apple's most durable iPhones ever. So today I want to water test the ingress protection on the iPhone 12 series. It's now rated at IP68, up to 6 meters, or for us Americans, 18 feet. It's absolutely crazy for 30 minutes. So I've been doing these water tests for quite some time, back when iPhones didn't even have a water resistance. Anyways, I wanna compare the results to the iPhone 11, which is rated with a two meter water resistance for 30 minutes, just to get a frame of reference here. Basically just wanna see, do Apple's claims match up on this new iPhone? Now there are a couple things happening on the inside of this iPhone, uh, which may contribute to the improved water resistance. First off, an actual teardown did reveal, by the way, this is a new iPhone just set up. Uh, they did reveal that the speaker now has a gasket, a rubber gasket, which Apple has included for easy replacement of the speaker instead of that rubbery gunk if you've ever taken an iPhone apart. That's one of the main areas where water does come in and essentially sealing it off. Many Samsungs have that feature. Also, the fact that the screen now doesn't have a little plastic border in between the glass, and this is in, in part due to the blocky design. So all around, a much more durable iPhone when it comes to glass let's see if the water claims hold true. And uh, we have this new contraption this year instead of the paint bucket. Got a GoPro in there, I don't know what we'll get out of it. But we're essentially gonna suspend these iPhones in midair, so all of the ports are open, unobstructed. Smack dab in the middle right here. Go ahead and put the 12 here. As you can see, suspended and the 11 series. Now we're out in some cold and uh, rough seas here in the Columbia. We'll see how these hold up. In the past, iPhones have surprised me, but you never know. Sometimes water just sneaks in, and I'm very curious. Will it really hold up to 18 feet? That's, that's a wild claim. Now, for the longest time, Apple's been working on some patents from screens that work underwater to a camera that can image up to 50 feet underwater and color correct for the murkiness. So Apple is definitely working on an iPhone that can eventually dive with you maybe dive proof like the Apple Watch one day. And this gets us one step further with 18 feet. So for the first test, we're gonna drop these in on the iPhone 11's water resistance rating. So that's two meters at 30 minutes. In we go here and starting the timer. And uh, we do have it locked up just in case any divers get any ideas here. So we do have a little bit of a current. We will have to compensate for that. that about right there. Probably the last time I'm gonna be doing a video like this. Did one last on the 10s and it held up. You know, at a certain point, it takes an immense amount of abuse for water to get in. And I think the iPhone 12 is gonna be the iPhone that eases your fears when it comes to, you know, going deep in the water or just pool play whatsoever. 18 feet is no joke. 15 minutes in. I'm uh, gonna pull it out. There's really no point. It's really, really cold. If you guys were here, you'd understand. I have no doubt that both have survived. You can see that the screens are on. None are acting erratically. iPhone 11 is ready to be used right away. And we will do a little speaker test here. Yeah, so the iPhone does not have a water eject feature yet. So it somewhat works. Same thing, crackling. Now let's go straight to the full rating of the iPhone 12 and the poor iPhone 11 is gonna go down along with it. Okay. And down she goes. So that's the 18 foot mark right there. I'm gonna give it an extra couple feet to compensate for the current. All right, so got a bit of an issue. Got a massive current and uh, quick thinking got us some rocks. All right, so we're gonna put the iPhones one right here. All right, whatever works. In uh, three, two, one. All right, problem solved, straight down. Okay, and there's the 18 foot mark. Now this doesn't speak for salt water, it's just fresh water. That may be a completely different bag of worms. Oh, and by the way, we are doing a giveaway of an iPhone 12 and a 12 Pro and three sets of AirPods Pro. Winners will be chosen on November 3rd. If you guys wanna enter on the website, two ways to do it. It is taut, it's straight down. No issues there with depth. You can see 
going straight down. I know I'm about to be very impressed here. I really hope that it survives. If it does, we'll go even deeper. All right, we just uh, reached the 30 minute mark, a little bit over. Let's go ahead and pull it from the depths. This is the 18 foot mark and it is in there. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of depth. So the good news is we didn't lose them. So that's a good sign. The iPhone 12, no moisture visible in the cameras. Screen is responding to touch. And the iPhone 11, also responding and not damaged. Okay, I'm beyond impressed. Cameras, so both are working. It's hard to tell right away. Sometimes water damage can take some time. Last test, let's go ahead and sink these all the way to the bottom, see how much depth we got. Not only did the iPhone 12 survive, the iPhone 11 with two meter water resistance rating also survived. Whatever you got. So right here's the 25 foot mark. We got 25 feet. We got 30 feet. Let's leave it for 10, 15, see what happens. So actually we're just sitting here. Someone pulls up, says, hey, I remember you. Uh, you unlocked my iPhone 4S 10 years ago. Crazy, made my day. Anyways, we've got 21 minutes. Let's pull her up. So 35 foot mark here, a little bit of a slant. So I'd say 30, 25 feet for sure. 21 something minutes. Okay. And both are still on actually. That's very impressive. This little container, holes everywhere. There's nothing protecting any of the ports. 12 still operational. So it's spent over an hour in the water total. And iPhone 11 still working. So I'm gonna go home, dry them off, run some tests, see what's working but these have survived. I'm more impressed about the iPhone 11 lasting this long. I think for sure it's safe to assume that iPhones now, you do not have to worry about fresh water, that is, as long as you're not taking it diving with you to an immense depth, taking in the water, pool, not a problem. IP68 at six meters is no joke. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. That's our water test. Give you an update in just a little, but uh, so far, these have performed swimmingly. Have a good one, guys. Peace. Now at home, really nothing to report. Both phones seem unfazed. There's no signs of water damage whatsoever. Usually you'd tell within an hour or so, but water damage can be tricky. It can creep up on you and only in a few days rear its head. So far, so good though. I'm very, very impressed. The iPhone 12 truly is the most waterproof iPhone yet. Can't wait to see what Apple does in the future.